everybody. Today we are going to talk about the nun, which is the letter that comes after the mem. And the nun is the 14th letter in the alphabet and mean and has a numerical value of 50. And it makes it sound like the, the N in now. And it means um, shine, spread, flourish, uh, and sprout in Hebrew, and it means fish in Aramaic. Um, and it's a very pretty letter. Um, so according to the Sefer Yisrael, again, that second oldest Kabbalistic text, again, I tell you that the, the Sefer Yisrael divides the letters into three mothers, seven devils, and 12 elementals, and the nun is one of the elementals. Oh, I should tell you also that the nun, the final nun, the Behir is the oldest. And according to the Behir, this one represents the spinal cord. So maybe the head here and the spinal cord here. It's pretty cool, huh? <laughs> I love all these stories. I love all these stories. Anyway, and um, the, nee, the nun, according to Sefer Yitzhak, is king over smell. And with an end, uh, God formed Scorpio in the universe, Heshvan in the year, that's a month, or it's approximately a month, and the intestine in the soul. Isn't that interesting? I never think of the intestine as actually being in the soul, but anyway, that according to Sefer Yitzhak, that's what it says. Um, I find that very amusing. Um, it is also one of the shot... Shatnaz God's letters, which are Shin, Ayin, Tat, Gimel, Zion, and then Gats, Gimel, and Tzadi. And um, they are the letters that can have these little Tagin on them. And the Tagin are these three dots, I've described it in other sessions that we've had, uh, three dots but they're on top of the letter up here. And they're three Zions, if you remember what a Zion looked like. And they go together so they, they make a crown. So it's really pretty. And there's this wonderful story that I love, 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 love. And it's one of my favorite stories in the Talmud. And uh, it talks about Moses. There's a story about Moses ascending to heaven. And when he gets there, he want, Moses ascends off and on to heaven <laughs> in different parts of the Talmud. But anyway, he ascends to heaven and he sees God putting these tagin, that's what they're called, tagin, on the letters, just doing it with so much kavanah and tension and so much joy. Um, and I just love that image of, <laughs> of God sitting there putting those tagin on these wonderful letters. Um, and uh, then the sad story is that the psalm, Ashrei, which is really said at all services during the week and on the weekend, on, the, on Shabbos and the rest, you know, on Shabbos also. Um, and uh, the nun is missing from that. That's an alphabet. So I'm sure you've heard it. Here's how they go. I can't sing, but here, I can't sing, but here it is. Ashrei Yoshei Vetecha, Avyalu Atzela, Ashrei Ha'am Shekakalo, etc. So, you know the tune. Um, my rabbi Mitch, he, well, he's not a rabbi anymore, he's retired, but anyway, he's still my rabbi. And I was a member of the Chavara, and we used to do this song to Dem Bones. I mean, how irreverent could you be? Which is why I love the Chavara. <laughs> Because anything went. You could just do anything in the Chavara. It was really fun. Um, anyway, so um, I think of the nun as a very nurturing letter. And for me, I usually sit in the nun and the top of the nun comes down to sit on my head. Like, I should do a painting of that. I don't have a painting of that. Did I say to get your art supplies? I don't think so. So why don't you go get your art supplies and I will just show you some of my nuns. And so
So you can get crayons or paper and pencil or crayons or whatever you want. So this is one of my first nuns and this doesn't, all my other nuns are different from it. But anyway, that's the first try. And here's, here's a nun. That's usually the way I think of it. And again, this is the final nun. Nun Sophit. And this is the luminous nun. Nun. And this is the purple nun. And <clears throat> this is the nun that means shine. Just like, uh, and it's happy. <laughs> I like happy. Uh, and it is, uh, <laughs> she's really happy. Um, anyway, and in Aramaic, nun means fish. And here is the one. Oh, and so in this one, it means shine. I mean, in the Hebrew, it means shine. That's why that's like that. And here is the one that the nun means fish in Aramaic. Oh, I just love them. They're so cute. Don't you think they're cute? <laughs> I love the nun. <laughs> the expression on the nun's face. <sighs> anyway, so now we're going to, uh, so if you took the time to get your art supplies and, um, and draw your nun and paint it or crayon it, that would be great. And if not, that's okay too. Um, so let's start our meditation. So relax your shoulders so that your, if your hands are on your lap, you get to relax your shoulders. And put your feet on the floor and assure them that they do not have to do any work for the next couple minutes. Because they're just resting there. Take a deep breath. And then bring your nun in front in front of you. Or one of my nuns, it doesn't matter. Or just a nun. I get I keep it I think I keep thinking of the nun as nurture even though that's not the Hebrew meaning. Because it always nurtures me. I pretty much do the same thing all the time. My nun is sort of blue-green color. It's very pretty. Because this meditation is like the colors can undulate. And my nun is very peaceful. And so I'll do what I usually do I'll climb into the nun and sit in the little hollow. And then the nun always lowers its head to put it on top of mine, and I can feel it. It's the most wonderful feeling of connection and safety. And the nun that I'm sitting in will rock me softly. So you experience your nun in your way.
Okay, why don't you think about coming back to the room you're in? You can wiggle your toes and your hands. And take a deep breath and let it out. And then when you're ready, you can open your eyes. Which is always a hard thing for me because I could just sit there forever. <laughs> been meditating for almost 40 years, so I can go off into meditation anytime. Sometimes not very convenient times, too. Anyway, if you're interested in um, in getting to me together with me and becoming a client, um, my telephone number and my email address are below. And I love working one-on-one. -on -one. It's really fun. Well, I really have fun, period. <laughs> Have a lot of fun all the time um, and uh, and if you're interested in learning more about the nun there'll be a more detailed explanation uh, on the Hebrew letter website it's called Hebrew letters by Sarah Lea. it is a Facebook book page at this time I plan on opening a new website for that but right now it's a Hebrew letter pay, I mean it's a Hebrew website and um, and I invite you all to look at it. So until next week when we'll do the Samech, which is another really cool letter. Of course I think all the letters are cool. <laughs> I will see you next week with the Samech. So until I see you again, have a great week.